man, I've just had enough of this now, and I'm just, just going to leave it as it is. I just don't want to do this anymore. This is basically the end. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it. Make sure you drop another like as well. And yeah, I'd also like to say uh, thanks for the support on yesterday's video. I got around four to five people actually message me about this video and say that I stole their idea. They've known about this for ages. You've stole my idea. That wasn't my intentions at all. I literally saw one guy in a lobby who told me about it originally and then I saw one YouTube video pop up on my recommended which was funny because I spoke to this guy about it which showed you pretty much how to do it a little bit more in depth. I just picked it up from finding it naturally and I wasn't trying to steal the idea, I was just trying to share it with you guys so you guys were aware. So sorry if it did offend anyone but I've not stolen anyone's idea, you know. I was just pretty much sharing it with all you guys, you know. If I posted a gameplay of me getting a nuke but some guys already posted a gameplay of getting a nuke, have I stole his idea? No. Do you know, it's one of them things, it's just something that's in the game and I was letting more people be aware of it, so stop, uh, you know, claiming things, chill out, it's, it's what it is, uh, yeah, but yeah, anyway, on today's video guys, pretty much want to talk to you about why I didn't upload for the last five days or so, um, and pretty much let you know where my mind's at and give you guys some advice uh, if you're in a similar situation to me. Uh, so we'll start off, you know, right at the very start, I was 16, I'm 20 now, so this is four years ago, uh, maybe a little bit less than four years, actually probably like three years. Uh, I was leaving school and everybody else seemed to have a plan, everybody seemed to have it sorted about what they wanted to do with life and, um, you know, they, they were going to do this, they were going to do that, they were going to go to uni and do this and do this job. And for me, it was just a blank in my mind. I would think so hard all day, like, what am I going to be? What am I going to be? And I just couldn't figure anything out. The only thing that interested me at this point in time is I obviously had my hobbies, like I used to go and watch football, I used to play football. Um, I used to play on the PlayStation. They were my hobbies uh, back then. Uh, and I wanted to do something around technology, if you will. Uh, I'd done... GCSE computing and like coding and ICT and media like graphic designs and I really enjoyed doing them types of things and I then I went on to do A levels in them subjects I did A level in computing, A level in ICT, I did an A level in media and I had an A level business I was doing. So I got about halfway through the first year of my A levels. I'd already been in school at this point all my life obviously so far so let's go as far to say I've been in school like 10 years just you know, with the same people, I had the same group of friends all the time, which isn't a bad thing, but I'm not friends with them anymore, uh, due to me leaving halfway through. I pretty much messed around, I was always a quiet kid, uh, I never really was bothered, but I remember sitting in my lessons, because it was all on the computer, every single lesson was on a computer. It was when Modern Warfare Remastered was out, and I was heavy into GBs, game battles, at this point in time I was very competitive, I used to just love and breathe competitive Call of Duty basically and I'd just sit there and study uh, all the different maps, all the different routes I could take, you know, different tactics on different game modes uh, on the GB scene and just try and you know, become a better player and that's what I used to do every, all day every day just at school sit and study these and when I got home I'd be like yeah I found this new strat, we're going to try this tonight, I'm going to run this, this way around the map and try and flank them this way, all them kinds of things and I enjoyed it but eventually it caught up on me uh, I was super behind in all my work I was not going to pass uh, that year I was going to have to come back and do another year and essentially they advised me to leave uh, so okay that was a bit crap but at the point I wasn't at that time I wasn't bothered you know I, I wasn't bothered about anything uh, to do with school at that point so I was like all right cool whatever and I still had that blank in my mind what am I going to do next and as I was coming towards the end of the time when I was going to leave halfway through the year at the end of the term, uh, the idea of plumbing came to mind and I had a few friends that did this as well, uh, a trade if you will, if you're from the UK, I don't know what you call it in America because I do know a lot of you are American who watch these videos, but basically construction, whatever you want to say, uh, everybody says they are good jobs in the UK, um, by all means they are very very good jobs, you know, good jobs to have uh, if you're doing a trade then well done, you know, it's super super good. Um, so for and there was only a lot of money. There was qualified gas engineers, which is people who fit boilers. Uh, if you're from the UK as well, like central heating in your homes, basically. Uh, and they had nice cars for the age they were. They had a decent amount of money, and I was like, wow. Let me jump on that. 
and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so obviously, before I could start my job as an apprentice, uh, plumber, gas engineer, whatever you want to say, um, I had to go to Tesco's and I was pushing trolleys at Tesco's waiting for the college year to start so I could start this new new j uh, journey of mine, if you will. And everybody I went to school with was would come down to this Tesco's because it was right near the school and literally roast the hell out of me for every single time. And it got to the point where, as I was working there through the week, um, and when I knew they was going to go on their dinner, because I was outside all the time, I could take my own breaks when I wanted. Obviously, I couldn't just have break after break after break. I had a certain time of how much break I could have. But basically, I could have it when I wanted. So I would time the break for when they come down, just so I could avoid coming into any kind of contact with them, because it was hell. It made me feel so crap, and I already felt embarrassed enough working at this job. And if that's what you do now, then don't feel embarrassed. Um, because later on this video I'm actually going to be going back to doing something similar like that for a short while um, so yeah that was that I started the, the job eventually and everybody f still took the mick out of me for that because for some reason my friends just didn't understand uh, a lot of when you think about plumber they just sort of said why the hell do you want to be a plumber you're going to be unblocking toilets for the rest of your life which was nothing like that that's not what my job was I was an apprentice gas engineer so I was fitting boilers every day uh, and it was it was fun. I remember when I first started, I really enjoyed it. And the boy I worked with, he was a newly qualified uh, gas engineer. And at the time, I was starting at half six in the morning, like leaving my house at half six in the morning. And I'd be walking in till eight o'clock at night. And I didn't know any different. And I was thinking, wow, these are some long days. I'm really tired. And um, yeah, I didn't think anything of it until I realized that wasn't normal and started working with somebody else. And I was coming home at like a decent time, like three, four o'clock. It was cool, I was like, oh my god, I'm finishing so early, but it was just a norm. Anyway, so, time went on, obviously, as an apprentice, you do get stick and stuff, I just stuck with it, and I was like, this job is crap, this job is so shit, I don't really like this job at all, and this was still in my first year, and everybody told me, just persevere with it, you'll, be, you'll get better at it, as you get better, you'll enjoy it more, and that never happened, you know, it never, ever happened, uh, I still hated every single day, I'd hate getting up in the morning, dri at this point I was driving, so I had my own little van, and I drive to work early in the morning um, and it was basically one of them things it was just a massive pain and I just felt so low in myself uh, all the way up until um, now basically and so I carried on doing this and I've been in this job for three years now I'm actually a fully qualified plumber uh, I was going to do, well I'm doing, doing level three plumbing in the minute which is advanced and then next year I would be doing my gas and then after that I would be fully qualified and I think from a lot of people's perspective at the stage I'm at now doing what I'm going to do which is quit the job and go for something completely different is would be stupid obviously I'm so close to finishing but in my eyes what's the point because because it's not something I want to do forever you know and um, it was a tough decision and the moment I realized this was when this lockdown started which was three months ago so I'm really really asthmatic I have really bad chest have all my, all my life um, and I stopped taking my inhalers and stuff like that like years and years and years ago I was pretty fine uh, didn't feel like I was asthmatic at all and then as uh, this start this start of this year got a really bad chest and things again I was coughing constantly really really bad struggling to breathe a lot of the time and I think that's from the work environment I've been stuck in like people's lofts with the dust because uh, I was doing it domestic which if you don't know is inside people's homes there's a lot of smoke there's a lot of all kinds of things taken into factor and I think it was taking a huge toll on my chest and just brung it really back so I went to the doctors I'm asthmatic have this kind of stuff now which is some proper strong inhaler type things um, to you know get me better which I'm alright now but that's why I started to not self isolate but shield as they call it I was meant to have 12 weeks off work by the government um, so that's what I did and at this point in time I was just thinking I don't want to go back don't want to go back don't want to go back and it wasn't because of my chest and things it was just the simple fact is I hated it more than anything in the world uh, I know a lot of people when I went to college the people who were doing the, who were doing the same job as me uh, they just lived and breathed it they just loved everything about it like buying new tools and stuff like that and I know there's a lot of people who do like that but it was never me I just hated it I hate 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 having dirty hands can't stand it never have never will I don't think it was horrible even to this day three years in I hate dirty hands and you know I know what I'm doing now I could probably go and sling you a boil in your house if you really wanted um, but I hate it and this is why I'm trying to change I'm not going well I haven't 
quit yet. Uh, I've already made arrangements with the college and stuff. I'm going actually back to school to study business. Uh, it was something I really enjoyed at A level. I'm going to do the A level course, which I'll only have to do for a year. Then I'll have to secure myself an apprenticeship in business uh, to hopefully you know get something decent going for myself. If this work, uh, YouTube stuff doesn't work out, obviously this you've always got to have something else. You know, obviously I could just not do anything and you know do YouTube uh, but I don't have any money it's not, it's not going anywhere at the well it's not there at the minute you know what I mean it's pretty much just a hobby at the minute and you never know if it doesn't turn into a job it doesn't but yeah so basically I'm gonna do that obviously I'm gonna have to get a standard job again and this could help the channel out massively as well I'm probably gonna have a lot more time on my hands because whilst I'm at work at the job I'm in now uploading is just so difficult because I'm working every single day of the week like longer than nine till five so and i'm getting home i'm super tired i've got no time to do anything else i've got then i've got to rush a video record it and then edit it and it's just such poor quality and stuff so i'm hoping it's gonna give me more time for that and basically the st thing i'm trying to say is if you try wanting to learn on like figure out what you're going to do with your life just give it some time there's always time to change just don't get too caught up on it and rush into something like I did and now I hate it. Just because you see somebody else enjoying it doesn't necessarily mean you will enjoy it. That is 100%. I mean, I had, did it for three years. Just persevered and tried to enjoy it. Try to think, oh, maybe I'll enjoy it soon. I'm, I'm getting more into it, but I never did. You know, so I'm just going to quit that now. Give more time into YouTube, more time into study something else and hopefully secure another decent job, which I know I will enjoy if this stuff doesn't work out. It's one of them things you've got to just think of all kinds of different possibilities and make sure you're happy. At the end of the day, being happy is what is definitely key. Uh, you know, just make sure you're happy. If you like, <laughs> I'm just repeating everything. It's just crazy. It's def definitely a really difficult thing to figure out what you want to do in life. Um, by all means, it took me so long. I hated it. I just couldn't figure it out. And now I feel like I have. I definitely feel like that is the way for me to go. YouTube is the, my, obviously my number one wanted to be job, but if not, it's definitely going to be something to do with business. The idea of owning a business or running a business is just something that's always appealed to me. And I think now, now I've been off for so long and I've been thinking about it ever since the lockdown has begun. Uh, it's definitely something I want to do. So yeah, that's pretty much why I didn't upload, guys. In case you was wondering if you're struggling and what to think, what you want to be when you're older, then I would definitely recommend going after something you enjoy. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Do something you want to enjoy. If someone takes the mick out of you for doing something, then so what? As long as you're happy, you know. Just do what you want to do. Be you. Be happy. And that that's just being successful in itself, you know. As long as you're happy, you're successful in my eyes. But yeah, apart from that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you did find it kind of interesting, make sure you drop a like. If you're struggling on what to be when you're older as well, make sure you do drop in the comments below. Or if you've got it sorted, let me know. Or whatever you do now, let me know. But yeah, apart from that, guys, make sure you do follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them are in the description below. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.